Alright everyone, just when you think someone can't get more insane, they do or say something that's more insane. Insane people have a tendency towards doing this. Uh, you can look at uh, multiple examples within politics, uh, in both parties, by the way, <laughs> and in other parties as well. You know, uh, old Gary there, the libertarian candidate, uh, he did exist. Jill Stein exists too. Cornell West is like the more sane leftist. He's like the academics leftist. Jill Stein is the one that chains herself to bulldozers. Anyway, Jamie Raskin going even further into uh, his, his lunacy here. Uh, link in the description archived, of course, saying that if Trump is elected, they'll uh, attempt to 14th him. Uh, they'll say that, uh, you know, he's engaged in insurrection, so he's disqualified from office. Um, there are multiple layers of problem with this. It's like looking at a goddamn onion. And it's a really stinky, rotting one in Jamie Raskin's case. He's uh, gone round the bend long ago, and uh, he resembles Feinstein in some of her finer moments when she was barely able to walk, actually. <laughs> it's a, he's an interesting person. First problem, you'd need to have the votes in Congress in order to do this. So it's an empty threat. I mean, you're not going to have the votes. I favor the Democrats to take back the House, albeit narrowly. Uh, but you're not going to have the Senate. Um, you're, you're not going to be able to enforce your whim at the constitutional level. Um, it would it would fall through. So it's a hollow threat, number one. Therefore, it's meaningless. Secondly, let's say that you win a supermajority in Congress. Let's say you did have the votes. You won't, but let's say that you did. You decide to disqualify Trump from office, therefore, I guess, making Vance president at that point. Not sure if the vice president could be taken off the ticket because you wouldn't have the same charge to work with. So the Democrats would be giving you President J.D. Vance, who they have been astroturfing as weird. That, that's their slogan for him. Um, uh, do you think the Democratic voters would actually enjoy that? I think they'd prefer Trump, actually, since you've been astroturfing Vance as so uh, uh, uncharacteristically bizarre and uh, off-kilter. Uh, even TDS can barely keep up with it at this point. Now you've got Vance Derangement Syndrome, I suppose. Thirdly, you create a long-term legal precedent. Donald Trump has not been charged with insurrection. There is no physical charge. Now, can Congress impeach and remove a president for any reason? If you have the votes, yes. You don't need to worry any further. You can simply remove them from office. It's one of the ultimate powers of Congress, assuming that you have the votes there to do so. Can you do it? Yes. Should you do it? Uh, I would argue no, because then you open a can of worms where a future Democratic administration might, fe might face a supermajority of Republicans in Congress, and they just get removed out of thin air. Well, they did something wrong. Well, we just decided to remove them. Bye! Then, again, the Republicans are good at snatching defeat from the jaws of victory, and so there would be a, a Democratic vice president who they'd probably, their constituents would hate even more, uh, because vice presidents are typically not chosen uh, for their, their good looks and their good humor. Let's look at Dick Cheney for an example of this. <laughs> or Kamala, for that, uh, for that matter. Jamie Raskin's nuts. Strategically speaking, I mean, I know I'm giving advice to the enemy, but you know, whatever. I mean, I can, at the moment, I have to consider the Democrats my enemy. I tolerate the Republicans. Uh, because I'm not a Republican at all, and sometimes people get that confused, so I try to point it out quite commonly. The Democrats right now are being villainous, uh, I would say. Um, there's a lot of shenanigans going on. There's a lot of dark money being poured into Kamala Harris's campaign. Um, many congressional Democrats are outright malevolent towards the rights of the people at the constitutional level. But here you have Raskin talking about one element of the Constitution that, number one, is not legally applicable. Number two would require you to have the votes to actually get it through, and you don't, and you won't. Uh, so it's not even pragmatic. And number three would upend our entire republic. It would be weaponized against each subsequent administration. It's just like with the persecution of Donald Trump at the legal level, like with the uh, Mar-a-Lago records and stuff like that. You've opened up a can of worms that can't be closed anymore, endangering the very existence of our republic. This is why we need a reset. What we need is a reason. What we need is a new constitutional convention more than anything else um, to refine and expand upon the rights of the people and the rights of the states and so forth. 
to make things more individualistic and more state-centric. That's what we need right now. Take a bunch of federal issues off the table. There shouldn't even be, for example, an argument over abortion beyond the state level. The federal government should not get involved. The ability of a woman to choose is sacrosanct in most of the states of the United States of America. If you're in a state where it's not legal, you are capable of transiting to a different state. For example, do I like that there are states that have effectively banned abortion even in the case of incest or severest genetic defect? No, no, no. I don't support that. I side more with the Democrats on the issue, generally speaking. But I don't side with the Ralph Northam Democrats. There is a compromise that can be had. It can be evened out. Uh, but that has to be decided at the state level. It can't be decided at the federal level. You'll alienate too many people. The right to bear arms. It's sacrosanct. You should be able to mail order a machine gun by simply proving you're a member of the militia by flashing your ID. I agree with that. Is this the way that all states operate? No. There are multiple court decisions and state laws with regards to them, and we can work them out over time. With the Bruin decision, it'll become, by the way, a bit easier. Jamie Raskin is trying to effectively say if the people of the United States vote for Donald Trump, we're not going to listen to them. I thought you were the party of democracy, my man. I mean, that's what the Democrats have been telling me for the last year. Uh, well, several years. You're the party of democracy. The Republicans want an authoritarian regime and tyranny and stuff like that. Well, I, I mean, this sounds awfully tyrannical. If I vote for Donald Trump and he wins duly in a fair election, uh, why shouldn't I be able to have him as my commander-in-chief? If the, if, if the people have chosen an individual for that office, it would be like if you override... Let's say that you win re-election, Jamie, um, and then uh, you, you, know, you get booted out of office by some judicial maneuver or something like that. It wouldn't be democratic. The people chose you, right? I may not agree with the fact that they chose you because you're fucking crazy, but, you know, they did. They decided that you should represent them well, then you should be allowed to represent them. And if they don't like what you do as a representative or as a senator or as a president or whatever, then they can boot you out later. But if they voted for you, if you got into office, then you should have the ability to at least attempt the job, try to ingratiate yourself to your voting base, do a good thing. I mean, most politicians don't, but you know, some of them try, you know, like a Rand Paul or a Massey or something, and fill out your term. That's what you should be able to do. Uh, he's effectively talking about destroying the republic, and it is a republic, a democratic republic. We'll, we'll use the, the hyphenated term, I suppose. Raskin's nuts. He's gone off the deep end big time. I guess those, uh, those chemo appointments really fucking fried his brain because he doesn't even fucking make sense here. The entire thing strategically would be poor, would be illegal, uh, and, and it would never work. It doesn't make any sense. Party of Democracy, my goddamn ass. That's about all. Peace out.